the construction sector across the globe is at a pivot point in the history where shifting to technology has dramatically changed the way projects were delivered. In today's episode of Construction Week's expert interview series, we speak to Jesus Sancho, Akiona Middle East Managing Director, who will talk to us about how digitization has helped the company deliver projects on time and efficiently, as well as Akiona's involvement with desalination projects in the region. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Ms. Uh, Randu Warrior. And thank you very much to Construction Week for uh, inviting me to this uh, interview. Without further ado, let's get started. Uh, Akiona has been working on desalination projects for a very long time now. So just wanted to understand, okay, so how has working on these projects changed from, you know, over the years, over the, if you say over the past five to 10 years, how has it changed and how is the scenario right now? There are two or three uh, things that have passed in the last uh, few years. First of all, um, the technology has been improved. Technology, the, the, the efficiency, the energy efficiency per every cubic meter of this water, thanks to the latest technologies, um, has been uh, lower. The, 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 the specific consumption of energy has okay. been lower and lower and lower. We have been able to introduce renewable energy into those facilities, especially solar, to, um, to reduce the, uh, the consumption of electricity and uh, as far as possible, decouple from the grid, okay? We have been um, able to have uh, more uh, financial engineering for the long-term concessions to reduce also the tariff. And all in all, has been impressive how um, a few years ago, um, one, US dollar per cubic meter was a very competitive tariff. Okay. And nowadays, the latest ones, um, it's really unbelievable, we have been below 0 0.3 okay. dollars per cubic meter of this added water as a cost. And that is really impressive. Now, digitization and the latest technologies have, to, have helped a lot on, on, on this because you have a better way to design using all kind of uh, BIM and other um, you know, software for the design. Uh, you, you have also, we will speak about maybe later about uh, tools that we use as digital twins yeah. uh, for the testing and commissioning. Um, there are a number of, 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 of projects and, and tools, software tools using artificial intelligence that are in helping to improve such tariff, which in the end is a benefit for, yep. for the for the citizens and, and, the, and the customers and the clients, of course, things have been changing a lot in the last uh, decade. And uh, whatever um, any any companies, construction companies and contractors that have not been uh, doing their homework, so to say, mm -hmm. and modernize and use the, the digital technologies and the latest technologies, um, will probably have to do so very soon if they want to really. Uh, keep up with the, the present uh, changes and the, and the, and the challenges uh, and the competitiveness which is required at this moment. Continuing with the topic of desalination and also because you mentioned about digital twins. So I know recently Akiona used digital twin technology for the startup of the Al Khobar One desalination plant in Saudi. And that is correct. Yeah, and you've done that in the past as well for other projects. So just wanted to understand how has the integration of technology helped the company, you know, deliver projects, especially during COVID-19? One of the impacts that unfortunately uh, COVID has had in the industry is the restriction of movements of experts and yeah. technicians and the people, you know, from Spain or from anywhere in the region to the actual site, okay? So, um, um, Thanks that Acciona already as part of the, our investment in research and development and the adoption of the industry, let's say 4.0 standards, mm -hmm. where we've been developing our own AI tools, mm -hmm. uh, such as Digital Twin, we have been able to cope with uh, these challenges that you just mentioned, for example, in the Saudi Arabia, in Al Hobar One, yeah. uh, desalination plan for the SWCC. So we use this. Um, digital twin um, technology to the startup of the Alhobar One Desalination Plant. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a remote team based in Spain 
-hmm. and they were able to uh, to monitor, test, and commission the whole desalination facility with only a minimal amount of staff on site. Believe me, the, it was less than 10 times less than the normal, okay? So um, this technology, Digital Twin, allowed us the commission of the plan while we were able to remain on schedule okay. in, in spite of these uh, travel restrictions um, enforced because of the uh, pandemic. So we use um, advanced machine learning, artificial intelligence, and, and we, 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 oper we can control the, the, the whole the startup of the equipment, the control system programs, all the water and electrical circuits were tested and put into operations with remote supervision. And moving ahead, obviously, when it comes to technology, another fascinating innovation has been the use of drones. And uh, I wanted to understand, how do you think has this been beneficial for underground mine and tunnel projects you know, as an alternative to conventional systems, and also during COVID-19, bearing in mind the social distancing regulations that you mentioned earlier. Drones in general have been a major innovation in the last few years. I don't think anyone here, have probably any, any of the person listening to us, everybody has used a drone here or there, even as a toy, everybody has used drones. Now, when you come to professional environment, you know, they play a huge role in the planning and the analysis process of any construction program, okay? Because they give you um, aerial views, underground views of any site at a comparatively much smaller amount of cost than the actual other traditional methods, okay? Not only um, they give you this uh, planning and analysis process, they give you actual data of what is the advance of the actual construction, what is the size, what is the, the shape of that. And we are actually, you know, in our commitment with innovation, ACTIONA, we love to be one step ahead. And we are already deploying drones during tunnel constructions uh, phase to obtain uh, the digital models of the tunnel, okay? So, so this can be done for any kind of uh, technology used for uh, excavating the, the, the tunnel, you know, the, the conventional methods with explosive, hammers, cutters, or through uh, tunneling boring machines, or any kind of underground mining projects, you know. This also, you can supplement the, the information coming from a drone, which is flying uh, through the tunnel, uh, or the mining uh, project, with photographic resources that you can regularly and get a very good uh, monitoring of, of the actual progress of, of, of the project. And that can minimize any issues, any leakages inside the tunnels. And, and basically they create digital models of the tunnels and, and, and really responds to the needs of, of, the, of the business. No? They will give you versatility, uh, efficiency of this technology. They are extremely useful tools. Um, and we are replicating this technology in all of our latest um, Axiona tunnels. And we did it also in the Dubai Metro uh, tunnel, uh, just to just to have this kind of uh, uh, tool at hand and information, which always helps you to, to to move forward and to take decisions for the project directors uh, real time. So this is really a tool that is going to stay with us and the future. And I can envision that they will have more and more. Um, software and more and more uh, sensors incorporated into the drones in the near future that can really, really increase their capabilities and, and how useful they are. You mentioned about Dubai Metro Route 2020 project and how drones were used. So this was obviously my next question, but how challenging mm -hmm. was, uh, you know, the Dubai Metro Route 2020 project compared to the other transportation and rail projects that Akiona has implemented in the past in the region? Well, uh, that's a good question. Yes, the standards and the, the way that this metro in Dubai, the last uh, stage, let's say this extension from, from the Jebel Ali area all the way to the expo station uh, was uh, performed, um, I believe is top, top notch worldwide. It was done by BIM. BIM, you know, the uh, building interface modeling. This is really the latest tools you can have the latest and the greatest technologies have been used into this metro uh, construction. And, you know, 
for us is, is really an icon, and I believe for this city, you will see how amazingly um, the, the, the whole construction project is, the quality, the materials, the, the feeling of, of something special, you know, in accordance with the, the city of Dubai, which is uh, world class, and the, and the Expo 2020, which we all will enjoy as a world class event as well. So yes, very challenging. Acciona, the heavy civil division of Acciona, which is the main contractor, um, along with some of our uh, a, a partner, uh, Buller Map from Turkey and Alstom from France uh, for the rolling stock, and we are for the civil, the main leaders and main contractors. Our heavy civil division has been providing solutions to the construction challenges, both in Spain and in the international market now for more than a hundred years. And we all, throughout all our history, Acciona has been able to maintain a high reputation in complex multidisciplinary projects, okay? Uh, so, metros is our core, our core business. We, we have recently, in the last few years, some examples worldwide, the Dubai Route 2020 Metro, uh, the Sydney Tram, uh, the Metro in Quito, the Sao Paulo Metro extension, the Vancouver Metro, just to name a few. So yes, challenge was there, we used the latest technologies and we have delivered a very, very sophisticated and complex project in time and above the expectations. So we are extremely proud of this. Uh, achievement. That's very interesting to know. Moving on to my next question. So earlier this year, Akiona constructed the region's first bus stop using 3D printed technology in Ajman. Uh, I wanted to understand what are some of the other 3D printing projects that you are currently undertaking and how has this technology helped build sustainable infrastructure? We have um, uh, brought to Dubai, is in the Russell Hall industrial area, the largest 3D concrete printer in the world um, by the what's called the powder bed technology, by uh, using technology called D, uh, is a registered mark, D-shaped technology. So uh, we bought this machine, we have uh, worked on it, improved it, used the right materials, the raw materials, and we are actually, this, this machine is huge, uh, it's a, uh, six meters by three meters by two meters, whatever you can put inside that, let's say, shoe box, huge shoe box, you can print. We're a very uh, free shape um, uh, and freedom of, of, of shapes. So currently in the world, there's two technologies, this uh, powder bed and the, that I just mentioned, and the um, extrusion or, or you say, uh, it's like a hose where uh, the concrete is pumped and it moves around, whereas the, the, the powder bed D-shaped technology is uh, printing with water in different layers, one on top of the other one. They're two different. So the one we have here, uh, Aptuna also has the uh, extrusion technology, but here in Dubai, what we brought is the largest powder bed technology. So 3D technology is part of the future, whether we like it or not. We have to digitize our productive processes, uh, favoring automation, increasing productivity, and reducing the climate impact. Just to give you an idea, this 3D printing does have a key role in reducing waste. Uh, and also because why? Because we are recycling the raw material that you don't use on the first go uh, into the second batch. So you are uh, recycling the raw material. And to give you an idea, the uh, we are saving up to 30% of CO2 emissions um, through to this technology, through this te uh, thanks to this, uh, this technology. Uh, so we have it here, we have it in Dubai. We are, as you said before, we have already printed the first uh, bus stop for the uh, uh, Ashman Transport Authority. When it comes to uh, recycling the construction waste yeah. that you touched uh, a few times, we are finally seeing some of the schemes and some projects being tendered at the moment. Uh, for example, in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh, uh, we have launched a PPP project for recycling construction waste, which is a great initiative. And I hope to see that same initiative uh, in the rest of the GCC countries, which is much needed and much productive and, and efficient. So we are heading to the right direction. 
Thank you so much, Jesus, for joining us on the show. It was wonderful having you and knowing more about uh, the, the work that Akiona has been doing in the region and how technology integration has been helping all of the projects. Thank you to you. Thank you so much. To Thank all you. our viewers who've been tuned in, please don't forget to hit the like button and share the video with your friends and colleagues. We will come back soon with another interesting episode in the expert interview series. Until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.